So when I was doing my usual deep searching of YouTube videos for creepy and scary content, I came across a certain video that has popped up quite a few times on my feed and on certain Reddit pages that I follow. And the video is titled Swing You Sinners. It's a pretty primitive animation depicting a friendly looking character apparently being tormented and damned by some very unsettling looking characters. The chaotic warping imagery and the muffled crackly audio had me intrigued immediately and I even came across some other channels that gave a sort of brief but informative synopsis of the animation as well as a couple of reaction videos here and there. But today I wanted to share with you a proper in-depth analysis of this animated short from start to finish in hopes to discover a purpose of this piece of history and how it left such a long-lasting legacy. So sit back, grab your comfort food, and let's dive down this rabbit hole together. So the animation starts out innocently enough, with our main protagonist Bimbo the dog, who appears to be attempting to steal chickens from a farm. The nature of the short is musical from start to finish, with a lot of the movements being accompanied and synced with the music played in the background. Following slapstick-induced attempts to capture the chicken, a police officer dog character is introduced as Bimbo comedically grabs his hand by accident. The police officer pursues Bimbo in typical light-hearted cartoon fashion. At first it seems like a pretty normal cartoon, but it's not until Bimbo seeks refuge within a graveyard. And this is when the animation really starts to take on a more sinister turn. Upon entry, the lock on the cemetery gates comes to life and swallows the key, only to morph into a solid stone wall, leaving Bimbo trapped within the graveyard to live out the beginning of his nightmare. And this is when the macabre song of Swing You Sinners begins to ensue. Tombstones begin moving around Bimbo and singing to him with taunting expressions. The lyrics began with the phrase, Good night, this is your finish, brother. You're never going to get away. You'll never rob another hen house. You've sinned and now you must ordain. We're going to pulverize you, brother, and scatter all your bones away. Many other unsettling characters begin to appear and surround Bimbo, including ghost-like figures, skeletons, bats, trees, and even the ground itself. Even Bimbo's own shadow begins toying with him and fighting against him. These entities begin listing Bimbo's sins to him, some of which go beyond what most would consider child-friendly subjects. Such as his habits of stealing, his relentless gambling addiction, and a subtle yet clear indication of his lust for women. Bimbo desperately denies these sins and exclaims that he has abandoned these lifestyles, but to no avail. The ghoulish creatures utter the lyrics, Get ready brother, your time has come sealing Bimbo's fate. A circular wall in the distance begins to close in on him, trapping him for a brief moment. He then escapes to seek refuge within an abandoned barn, and this is where things truly become surreal. Much like outside in the graveyard, elements of the barn begin morphing and coming to life to scare Bimbo, including a haystack, wheat sacks and a scythe. An image of a warping chicken makes an appearance, much like the chicken that we saw earlier, except he starts moving in a very unnatural way, while scatting to the upbeat music. Ghostly figures begin joining in to scorn Bimbo, threatening to cut and dismember him with a straight razor. Bimbo then runs out of the barn, only to be chased by ghosts and the barn itself, barraging him once again with threats of mutilation. The images of these ghoulish figures take on many different forms throughout the chase scene, as well as duplicating into an entire army of pursuing spirits with abnormally long arms and near featureless faces. As the song continues, an unsettling scene of creatures moving unnaturally continue to present themselves, including the image of a frog with a dead-like stare gazing directly at the viewer whilst chaotically twisting its arms. Bimbo then appears to be descending within a vortex of horror and monsters, only then to be swallowed by an enormous demonic skull, abruptly bringing the animation and the song to an end, leaving a viewer to only conclude that Bimbo has met his final terrifying end.
Sources on the history behind this animated short are quite few and far between, but the animation studio who created the short was none other than Fleischer Studios, directed by brothers Max Fleischer and Dave Fleischer, who ran the pioneering company from its inception until Paramount Pictures, the studio's parent company and distributor of its films, acquired ownership. In its prime, Fleischer Studios was a premier producer of the animated cartoons for theatres, with Walt Disney Productions becoming its chief competitor in the 1930s. Swing You Sinners was released in September 24, 1930 in the Talkatoon series. The cartoon was animated by completely new staff members who'd apparently never worked in animation before, because the studio had to replace some original animators who quit. Animator Seamus Colhane states in his memoirs that though he created and animated what might be construed as a racist caricature of a Jew with a black beard, huge nose and a derby, the studio's atmosphere and its mixed ethnic crew made the depiction completely acceptable to all the Jews in the studio. A theory I found quite interesting was one that I came across via another YouTube video that briefly documented this short by a YouTuber I follow quite closely called Blame It On George. In the video they discussed the possibility that the cartoon was inspired by real life mobbing and lynching activities that took place during the time period that this was released. Due to the similarities within the short of a mass of characters that would punish people for such crimes like bimbos. This is obviously just speculation, but one that you can't help but think about when you consider the time era it was released, and the mentality of people within this generation. One thing is for sure though, the themes of this animation clearly indicate elements that most animation studios would not portray in modern times, which leads me to believe that during this period in entertainment, darker subjects and imagery were not regarded by children as something upsetting or disturbing, but more as an important lesson to learn whilst growing up in a far more uncertain and dangerous world. Or perhaps because of how new animation was to people back then, maybe cartoons simply weren't determined as something exclusive for children at this stage, and had a much less focused key audience in terms of age groups. I also find it interesting that religion, for example, certainly had a more dominating presence in society back then than it does now, and I certainly would not expect to see subjects of sinning and damnation in TV you know, cartoons on Cartoon Network or on a Saturday morning show. So I think that this is the main reason why people feel so baffled and creeped out by this animation when they view it at first, simply because we've changed so much as a society Parental guidance for entertainment is far more strict now, and also our technology has advanced so much that primitive animation like this only seems disturbing to us due to the jagged, unnatural movement presented, but back then it would have looked way more innovative. The long-lasting legacy that this cartoon has left on people is quite impressive. Ren and Stimpy creator John Crick Falusi named it one of his favourite cartoons and played during a retrospective of his personal favourite animated shorts. He also compared it to Walt Disney, The Skeleton Dance, which was also set in a cemetery, and felt that Swing You Sinners was superior. The Skeleton Dance is definitely one I need to do another video on at some point. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to look into that for you. One of the most notable things that I noticed anyway about this animation is how similar the imagery and style is to one of my favourite video games, Cuphead. And unsurprisingly, video game developers Chad and Jared Maldenhauer based the atmosphere of their games on several Fleischer cartoons, including Swing You Sinners. Chad Maldenhauer, for example, said that Fleischer Studios alone was a magnetic north of his art style and I can definitely see that in the games. Personally, I find it fascinating to see people react to pieces of history like this, as it shows how much our psychology has changed over the years. It's just a shame that we'll never get to see this in reverse, unless someone hurries up with the invention of the time machine. But either way, I strongly recommend that you check this cartoon out for yourself and make your own conclusions as to what the true message of the short was intended to be. Either way, it is quite creepy, so, you know, prepare yourself for that.
Thank you so much for watching this video guys. The music I use for this video is a track I produced myself called Angel. Uh, if you'd like to listen to it or download it for free or even use it for one of your own YouTube videos then just click in the SoundCloud comment I've put in the description. Help yourself, honestly I'd like to see it used in other videos and if you just want to listen to it and chill out then please by all means help yourself. Until next time guys I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.